Hello friends and welcome to another Benefit of a Doubt unboxing and today I have an item that is either going to end up on the podcast or it could possibly end up on Digital Trends. I honestly have no idea. I'm still going to unbox it here though, so let's get to it. This is the amazing packaging that came along with the or or Vivo Technology Smart Switch Dual Relay Switch. And let's just go ahead and crack this open because I need to kind of explain what this device is before we can really get a good sense as to what it's going to do. So there might actually be a box in here. I haven't even opened the envelope yet. So, oh yes, there is. Okay, good. So there it is. And just like a little packing slip. Okay, we'll just push that out of the way. Okay, so here it is. You can see this is Orvivo, and it's a smart dual Wi-Fi relay switch. Now, this is supposed to be put inside a, a regular light switch in your home. And what this does is it turns that light switch into a smart light switch, in theory. Now, I have so many questions about this, and we'll get to them during the unboxing, but um, let's just go ahead and crack it open right now and see what we have in here. Um, so I was contacted about this because of my work with Digital Trends, but I couldn't, okay, so this is really small. So I couldn't promise them any coverage on Digital Trends until I saw how it worked for myself. And one of my questions has been answered because when you look at the PR image of this, it's, it's kind of big. <laughs> So, um, but like when you crack it open, these are actually fairly small. Now my concern was these are supposed to actually be wired. Oh, but look how thick they are. These are supposed to be wired inside the electrical box. Now bear with me, I, it's been like 10 years since I was an electrician, but these are supposed to be wired inside the electrical box inside your switch. And these connect to your Wi-Fi and to an app and you can control that switch like the actual light switch with these boxes now seeing how small they are i can kind of see how they would fit inside a i think it's called a 1900 box but seeing how thick it is i don't know i'm i'm very concerned at this point now there's two of these and from what i understand each of these boxes can control two different light switches you see okay, okay so you pull out actually let's just go ahead and get the rest of this up and we'll dive into that in a little bit so yeah okay so you can see they pack in a lot of a lot of benefits here so there's here's some stickers and uh, let's see here what do we got these are black stickers okay um anyway wire nuts obviously for wiring the switches up together and so now here's the user's guide and i'm definitely going to have to read through this to make sure you can see like okay so you know here's your switch and this gets wired to the box and then this gets wired to the box um here's a here's actually a diagram of the whole thing so the switch gets wired to the box and then the other wire goes to the box and then you've got your ground and all that stuff so now it looks like that i didn't realize that there were two of these so maybe i can wire up a couple different light switches but each of these is designed for two light switches which is kind of cool so personally in my house i only have a couple of light switches that have like two light switches so like most of them are singles and i also read in the in marketing materials these are only designed to, uh, and again, bear with me with the terminology here, but these are only designed to work with single pole switches. And what that means is, you know how sometimes like in your kitchen, you walk in the back door and there's a light switch there to turn on the lights in the kitchen. Or if you walk in from the hallway, there's a light switch there to turn on the kitchen. That's called like a double pull or switch or something like that. So like either switch up and down will, will turn the light on or off depending on its current state. This is only designed to work for like, you walk into your bathroom, there's only one light switch in the bathroom. That's the kind of switch that these are de designed to work with. But this also works with two different light switches. And I'm trying to think inside my house, like where I have two side-by-side -side light switches that I need to control, like my bathroom, maybe? Yeah, because I've got the fan in there, so maybe I could do that. Um, 
front door for the outside porch. I don't know. So I'm also going to have to find out what happens if you only want to wire up one switch. But I mean, like, just with how thick this is, I'm just, I'm really concerned that once I put this inside the box, I'm not going to be able to put the light switch back in because this is really, really super thick. So we're going to have to see. It, it, it's going to be an interesting concept. And, you know, again, I don't know if this is going to end up on Digital Trends or if it'll be reviewed in the podcast. Um, and it kind of depends on how well they work and how well I can sell it to my editor because... Yeah, um, I, I, I like the idea of it. I like the idea of taking a light switch and turning it into a smart switch so that way you don't have to replace, you know, light bulbs and stuff like that. I would actually love to put this on my outside lights for like my front porch light and my back lights. So that way, like, if I forget to turn them off or something. Now, and, and the switch will still work too, which is kind of cool. And, I, and I'm, I'm kind of wondering like, I, I guess we're just going to have to get used to the idea of the up and down of the switch not really mattering anymore because if you flip a light switch up for on and then through the Wi-Fi you tell this to turn it off, then that switch is still going to be physically up. So like the next time you want to come in, you're just going to have to flip it the other way. I don't think that would take too long to get used to, but still. So I'm, I'm like really, really intrigued by how these are going to work and... Since I'm filming this at the end of December, I don't know when you're going to see this, but since I'm filming this at the end of December, I'm going to get these installed like over Christmas break and everything. So, you know, we can try it out and maybe you'll read about this on Digital Trends. Maybe you'll hear about it on the podcast. Maybe both. <laughs> maybe they won't work and maybe it'll be neither. I don't know. So either way, it's going to be interesting to find out, but that's going to do it for this particular video. Uh, once again, uh, this is Benefit of a Doubt. My name is Adam. Feel free to, you know, if you like the video, do the stuff that you do when you like videos, and I'll see you in the next one.